back to Arc Tutorials and this is JavaScript Top 100 Coding Interview Questions and Answers. In today's episode, the question is, given a particular object, you need to filter based on certain conditions and return a corresponding object. Now, I have written this question in a more um, generic way, but what actually happens is that they, you would be provided with a kind of a JSON object and you would be asked to extract some fields based on certain condition all right so i am going to show you how to do that for this particular scenario with a sample json object but you should be able to get it done with any object of your choice all right so now that being said uh, let's go ahead and create a json object and then i'll show you how to extract certain fields um, out of it all right okay so let's get started so i'm going to type script so this is just a plain uh, blank thing and i'm going to throw in a uh, JSON object. Now I'm going to say const input equal to. Now what we'll do is it's an object, right? And we can make it any way we want. Let's say I'm going to say students and then I'm going to define a array, right? So it's a student array. Now in this we can have multiple um, objects. So let's say student ID. Say 10 and then you can have um, first name. Right. Um, go ahead add your own uh, that you want I will not waste your time uh, here but I'm go just going to add one more just so that we have some proper data set to work with all right let's say this is okay so I have a particular object which has um, students array inside it right and some values right so basically what here uh, we are trying to do is use a array so the question is how do you use filter right so if you see filter a given object so how do you filter an array that's what um, it's the kind of a question that would be asked so there are multiple ways to do it but here I'm going to show you how to use um, dot filter method to kind of extract and get things done so what we can do is whenever you given an object you can say say now here you would say input dot now you know that uh, there is a students array so you would write dot filter right so basically what you're trying to do is now inside this object there is an array which is students and then you would write a filter method so filter if you see it comes with a predicate uh, that can have a value or you can pass this argument and function to it so I'm going to pass a quick function here and then here I'm going to get a argument right so which is nothing but the item that we'll work with and here you can write the condition and return it right so let's say if item dot student id is greater than uh, five so i'm going to change this to three just in case i want to test and i'm going to say uh, return right so <clears throat> or you can return some default if you would like that way so that's again up to us like right you can say you can use a tertiary operator and say return if item dot student ID is greater than five then return the item or else return empty right so that's a simple thing uh, basically uh, so the question usually that's asked in interviews is you would be given a particular JSON object which may have some arrays and they will extract they would want you to extract some information out of it and how do you do that is using the array filter method and you will refine based on certain condition and then just console lock it that's the simplest uh, you can go about so let's go ahead and run this and open our tools console and we see that array returns one which is having student ID as 20 right now same way uh, the conditions may vary differently uh, some may ask you to do some calculation find maximum minimum but the logic mostly remains same which is to use the array method that's the most important keyword whenever you are asked to filter any uh, object or a array base given in an object right I hope that was uh, pretty straightforward. Um, make sure that um, you get the ebook that I have launched and it covers 100 plus JavaScript code snippets that every developer must know. 
these de these coding snippets will help you better developer and help you crack the front end developer interviews you can find the book at arctutorials.gumroad.com if not please write to me at surya.aradhya@gmail.com i can provide you the link as well thank you so much for joining and i will see you again um, in the next episode with much more um, better uh, questions and we'll continue this series thank you so much